Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron for the German Empire. In the last episode, we kind of, you know, let things roll for a little bit, and uh, we are preparing for an invasion of Japan. We still have a lot of tanks that need to be built. 16,000 modern tanks, 2,000 modern self-propelled artillery, 1,000 modern tank destroyers. So, still a lot of work there to get our Panzer Divisions up to speed with the new gear. So, that is fine. And yeah, just kind of doing some management things and doing some research. Um, we had set up a naval invasion for uh, Atu Island, but... It was occupied before he arrived, so we are now setting up a naval invasion for Marcus Island. And then I'm guessing we're probably going to invade Iwo Jima as well. Before proceeding on to Japan itself. So, that is going to be the plan. And I'm thinking that once... Once Japan is knocked out... I seriously doubt we're going to have to take out Uruguay or Cuba or Haiti. Chile? Uh, I don't know. Philippines? British Malaya? Uh, we're going to knock out Japan, and then we're going to see what happens. If that's enough to tip the entire war in our favor, and we go into a peace conference, or not. You know, but we do have some work to do before we get there. So let's go ahead and pause. Let's get it moving. Very low supplies. Yes, I'm aware. Once they're done planning, they'll be fine. Free civilian factories. I guess I could also work on infrastructure here in Mexico, since I'm going to be directly occupying this. Let's make sure we have that in place. And if we have any naval bases, well, we do have a naval base there that is maxed out. And yes, we probably do have some resistance out here. No, nope, that's the button I'm looking for. Yeah, lots of resistance. Let's see. I'm also thinking of hitting Spain and Portugal. Though I might have to wait until after the end of the current war to do that. We'll have to see. Once the war is actually over, these garrison armies are going to be converted into regular infantry and pushed to the Soviet border. That's my plan, anyway. Some divisions inside this invasion have not yet reached their star position. How is that even possible? Oh. 
Like, wait a minute, all 24 divisions are sitting on the same island. Alright, hopefully this goes well. I also need to continue to work on replacing my old fighter uh, wings with jet fighter wings. So that's going to be something else we're going to work on. Chromium is still an issue. We're going to make sure that our stockpiles are really, really good before we start hitting the Soviets. Because we're going to lose all of our Chromium. So... Down 1,280 days for those tanks. 441 days for that. 154 days. Alright, advanced rocket engines are done. And... It's not 1955 just yet. Alright, any 1950 tech that I have not yet caught up with. Well, except for tanks. I need to get the Panther IIs built first. Before I worry about too much else at the moment. Though I could go for the E-10. Sure, why not? Let's see, these are 1955. I guess we'll go for transport fours. We have new transport planes. We're going to go ahead and build some of those. Rocket interceptors, natters. Ooh. That's a funny plane. Designed to take off vertically on a rocket engine as a interceptor. All right, that's done. This is all done. This is all done. This is getting finished up, at least for 1950 stuff. This is largely done. I mean, I still do technically have a bunch of mine laying tech to work on, but I don't really lay mines at all. I probably should. Ah, we have these new things here. Alright, we've arrived there at Marcus Island. So, you can delete your orders. Okay. And we do control this. Okay. So, what we need to do is we need to... Build infrastructure. Max that out. Max out its naval base. Its airfield is already maxed out? Interesting. Whose planes are here? Austria-Hungary. 
Nationalist South Africa. All right, let's go ahead and send some jet fighters over here. We'll send 400. I should hopefully get these guys to get out of there. And now I have four more jet squadrons. We take four of these fighter squadrons and get rid of them. Alright, let's have you guys begin planning a naval invasion from Marcus to Iwo Jima. Go as soon as you can. And what is the supply rate there? Like, ridiculously low. Local naval base limit. That's that's the problem there. So once we get the naval base built up, then we can actually park probably a whole army on that island. Which is going to be the plan. So that they are staged and ready to go. Looks like we're overbuying this again. Did we finish some ships? I'm gonna wait for these two aircraft carriers to finish. And then we're gonna look at potentially maybe building some more ships. So that was what? September? 9th of September. 8th of October. 53. Okay, so this year. Alright, Bowman Voss, BVP 188. There, that's done. I guess we can start working on Rocket Artie. Some of our armies got finished. Okay, good. No, you should be under there. Right. You need a commander, a color, maybe kind of a light purplish color. Okay. And let's see. I guess I've been sending this entire army to the Spanish front. Still not entirely sure I'm ready to do anything there. All 
All right, there's another amphibious, well, new amphibious tank design. Let's go ahead and get the amphibious tank three. Oh. Evidently clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. I'm gonna wait to switch over my designs until that one's done, because I don't think there's really any point. We are getting a lot of damaged... A lot. Yeah, we don't have anybody garrisoning Africa, or not Africa, um, Mexico right now. So that's what's causing problems there. Let me just take a look at what we've got here. You're a bunch of submarines. Which... Why don't you guys just move into my submarine fleet? Except that that now overloads the commander there. Okay. That's fine. You guys can move down here and function as a... Convoy Raider, I guess? In the Indian Ocean? should work. We got 52 ships. We have two new battleships. Are they new battleships or are they old battleships? Uh, you guys go there. Okay, there we are. Let's see, a super heavy. We could probably send those two battleships. Or it appears it's three battleships. No, the two tier four battleships over there. 41 destroyers, 3 submarines. Okay, so let's see. Do you guys need destroyers? Yeah, you guys could use a destroyer. You guys could use a destroyer. You guys could use a destroyer. Well, actually, you could use a destroyer and a light cruiser. Actually, I think they just needed a light cruiser. Okay. E25 standard panzer is... Actually, you are... No, I'm not doing that one just yet. E25, modern tank destroyer. Modern tank destroyer. 
Modern tank destroyer. I don't think I'm going to swap that out just yet, because we still need 391 for reinforcement. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and swap it out. Sure. Because that 391 is going to get knocked out pretty quick. All right, we've taken Iwo Jima. Excellent. Okay, so Iwo Jima needs a infrastructure improvement. It needs a naval base improvement, but it does not need an airfield. All right. One of a uh, nine, nine supply. It's only got a level three naval base on it so far. All right, what about the airfield here? Let's get a thousand more. 800, 800 more jets, jet fighters. Let them deploy out, and then we'll split them up in the squadrons. Then we'll get rid of a bunch of the old squadrons. There we go. Eight of the old squadrons can go away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably going to want to start moving some close air supports in here. Close air support should be operating jets already. These are tactical bombers. These are close air supports. And bring 400 over. Okay, let me take a look at this fleet. We can now operate around Japan. All right, then. Delete all regions for this fleet. I want you guys to begin operating four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, begin operating around Japan. And we need to set everybody back up. Strike force. Patrol. 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 And... Strike force. Why are you sailing in that direction?
I do have... Yeah, we do have military access there. That's... Weird. On the way to repair. Okay. That seems a bit odd. We do have some patrol fleets out here now. Yeah, everybody's like sailing through the Mediterranean and then heading into the Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean. These guys have arrived on scene. These guys... You head to Hawaii. Yes. But you're gonna go around... We, we should have access through here. This canal has been partially demolished. It must be repaired before it can be once again used. Really? Why would anyone do that? Well, uh, let's get everybody moving. Alright, how long... How, how long until we get... All of our tanks. 967 days. Really? Alright, E10s. Done. We're probably going to have to start going ahead on some tech. I guess we'll go ahead and hit rocket artillery. Motorized rocket artillery. I don't think it's going to be that necessary. Alright, we got our mechanized infantry. I guess we can get the heavy tanks. The E100s. It's not like a destroyer. I'll take it. Sure, our planes are covering the area. Good. Right. They have a lot of planes up. I could probably bring in 600 more. 
I'm gonna bring in 400 more jet fighters. Two, three, four. Let them deploy out. Send them out there. Let's get rid of four more old wings. Let's see, hold on. And just wings that aren't really doing anything. Um, let's see. One, two, three, and I guess four. Go ahead and disband those guys. There we go. Cuba has capitulated, apparently. Transport plane force. Done. Good. Let's see. Oh, these are 53, not 55. Yeah, let's go ahead and go for these then. So we got patrol fleets out here. We got a strike force out here. So we should be pretty well locking down most of this. Yes. Okay. And what about supply? Still not quite there yet. Can replace why am I only seeing this equipment yeah that Minus up propeller artillery three and E ten light tanks. Are we done our new amphibious tank yet? Not yet. Alright, let's get the advanced Amtrak. Okay. Well, I think we're at the end of the episode. So, we'll go ahead and end it here. And... Yeah. We're getting preparation. Our preparations are moving along. I want to be able to park at least two armies out here, ready for the invasion of Japan. At least one other army, so that I can you know, establish our beachhead and then fortify it. And then I can bring the rest of, you know, everybody over. They want to bring some heavier bombers over as well. But we don't quite have the supply for it yet. So we'll just have to wait for all that construction to get done. All right, but for now, we'll end it here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.